Pac stink all over this shit. He going head back, though. I just gotta figure out if this gonna be to the body or to the head. Some shit's coming up, and I gotta get this cash quick, fast, in a hurry. Mommy well, told me to stash off limits. I ain't supposed to touch it. We're gonna be in and out so fast, you won't even know we was there. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie, Futuristic Mike, and I'm back with another Power Book 3 Raising Canaan video if you're new. This is going to be the What to Expect video for Power Book 3 Raising Canaan, Season 1, Episode 4. If you're a fan of power, if you love power, hit the like on this video. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're finding me, subscribe and turn on those post notifications so when I post videos on Power Book 3 Raising Canaan, you get them. Now, this episode is titled Don't Sleep, and it looks crazy, man. Things are going to be getting crazy for Rock and her family, her crew, everybody, because Unique, he's not playing anymore, man, for real. When the trailer first starts, we see Rock, you know, she's all in her jacket. She's getting ready to go out or something, and we hear Unique saying, man, Rock stink is all over this shit. I just got to figure out if I'm going to go for the body or the head. And it shows unique, man. He's looking fly as hell. He got on the Gucci jacket. You already know the boy know how to dress. Uh, we see Kanan. He's looking worried, man. And we see unique with his boys. And they're walking down some steps. Things are about to get real, man. For real. They're about to get real. Um, Rock, she better fire back. She better kill unique and his peoples quick. Or it's just going to be all bad for her. For real. They're coming for her head. She better figure out a plan quick, you know, to lay low so Unique and his peoples don't know where she's at. Or she better make a move and kill all of them. Because if she don't, I don't even know what's about to happen, man. Because Unique is pissed off. He knows that Rock set it up for his operation to be busted. He knows, man. He's not stupid. We seen him riding by in the last episode and his corners were empty. He had no peoples on his corner. So he knows what's up. Now next we see Juke on the phone and she says some stuff is getting ready to happen so she needs some clothes and some money quick. We see her getting back on one of them trucks and she's stealing some more stuff. Then we see Jukebox running like somebody's coming after her. If she keeps on doing this man she's gonna get caught up quick. You know somebody is gonna either do something to her or she's gonna end up in jail or something. You know, Juke, she's kind of going down the wrong path doing this with those stolen clothes and stuff. I understand she's trying to make a living and stuff like that, but she's being hot right now. Then we see Kanan and Marvin pulls up on him and says, Kanan, I need some help. And his response is, my mom told me not to touch the stash. I'm just supposed to be looking over it and stuff like I'm not supposed to be touching it. And Marvin says, man, we'll be in and out so quick. Won't nobody even know we were there. So it looks like Kanan and Marvin are robbing somebody. My guess is they're robbing Unique and his peoples. I don't know. Maybe it's just some random dope boy they heard about. They heard that they could get some quick cash. I don't really know. I don't know the situation. But they're robbing somebody. And it looks like there's quite a bit of cash there. So they're going to come up on a good lick. They're going to be richer than what they were for sure after this. Then we hear Rock saying to her son, Kanan, it's us against everybody. If she only knew what Kanan was doing with Marvin, you know, Marvin got him started officially in the game. He gave him eight grams for Kanan to sell on the street. And if Rock knew exactly what Marvin was doing with him, you know, Marvin would be in some trouble because Rock is running things. She's running the operation and she would not like what Marvin is doing at all. Trust and believe that. Not only did Marvin give Kanan some cocaine without talking to Rock, he's also doing licks with Kanan now. So he's going to be in some trouble, man, if she finds out. Best believe she runs things. So she don't like things going on behind her back without her knowing. Then we see Marvin in the car and he has a crazy look on his face. And he's really pushing on that gas, man. He's trying to run somebody over. Maybe he does. You know, maybe dude runs out the way or something. I don't know. But it looks like he's ramming his car into this van or whatever. And it looks like dude is dead. Once that car hits him, there's no way he's going to be alive after that. Unless, like I said, he ran out the way. But Marvin, he ain't playing. Whoever this dude is, Marvin wants him dead. Like, straight up. 
Marvin definitely has some beef with whoever this dude is, or maybe whoever the driver is he has beef with, but we just gotta wait and see, man, for real. I cannot wait until the next episode. It looks action-packed as hell. It seems like each episode is just getting better and better. And 50 Cent said himself, if you're not hooked, and if you don't think this is the best show on TV by episode five, then you're crazy. He said that straight up. He said, you will know that this is the best show on TV by episode five. So I expect by episode five, by the end of episode five, for things to really be heating up. And I can't wait, man. And I also can't wait for that finale. But man, this episode looks crazy. That's my what to expect. Comment your thoughts down below. What do you think is gonna happen in this episode? Comment your theories, thoughts, predictions, and everything else. Keep supporting your boy, and I'll be continuing to bring y'all Power Book 3 Raising Cane and content in the future. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and smash that notification bell so you can never miss a video. If you guys want to donate to the channel, I got links below to the PayPal and Cash App accounts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me get out of here, y'all. It's your boy, Futuristic Mike, and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.